Grand Duchess Tatiana Nikolaevna of Russia was born on the 10th of June 1897. Her birth was difficult and her mother relied on chloroform to get through the birth and was unconscious during the birth. The doctor used forceps to deliver Tatiana. Her mother Alex, or as she was known then, Alexandra, woke up to worried faces and knew what had happened. She had given birth to another daughter instead of the awaited heir. Though her parents were disappointed by her sex, they loved her dearly. Tatiana was close to her older sister Olga. Together they were known as the big pair. They shared a bedroom in which they slept on camp beds without pillows. This was due to their parents wanting them to grow up as simple as possible. When Tatiana was asked for her name, she never added her style nor title and always called herself Tatiana Nikolaevna. Tatiana is said to have resembled her mother the most not only in looks but also in personality. Just like Alexandra, Tatiana was deeply religious and always had a Bible with her to read. Alexandra doted on Tatiana and she is said to have been Alexandra's favourite daughter. Tatiana was a natural leader and at the age of 15 she was given the rank of honorary colonel and was assigned a regiment of soldiers. Together with her sister Olga, she inspected the soldiers often and was heavily patriotic and anti-German. On several occasions, Tatiana had to apologise to her mother for making negative comments about Germany, as Alexandra was German. Tatiana and her siblings lived a very sheltered life. They grew up far away from public life. Tatiana was shocked to hear that her governess earned money for taking care of her, having believed that the governess cared for her out of the goodness of her heart. One day, Tatiana and Olga went out for a carriage ride and stopped at a shopping street. They had no idea how to buy anything or how money even worked. Growing up at court all her life also left Tatiana in shock at how some of the soldiers acted. One time when they were aboard the Imperial yacht, one of the officers gave Olga a copy of Michelangelo's David. Tatiana was appalled and wrote to her grandmother about the scandalous behaviour of the soldier. Tatiana was believed to have been the most beautiful of the four grand duchesses. Some described her beauty as mystical and this was known around the other European courts. It also made her a desirable bride and King Peter I of Serbia wanted Tatiana as a bride for his younger son, Prince Alexander. But Tatiana had no interest in marriage at the time. Tatiana had an interest in fashion. She was talented in embroidery and crocheting and was a fantastic hairdresser. She loved to do her mother's hair. In 1911, Tatiana and her older sister Olga visited the Kiev Opera House with their father, Nicholas. During this, they witnessed the assassination of a government minister, Peter Stolopin. Both sisters were heavily traumatised by this event. During the First World War, Tatiana and her sister Olga worked as nurses. Tatiana was devoted towards her work as a nurse and was named the patron of a work aid committee called Tatiana's Committee. Tatiana often felt like her work as a nurse wasn't enough while Russian men were fighting at the fronts. While working as a nurse, Tatiana fell in love for the first time with an officer named Dmitry Yalakovich Malama. According to one source, they began a romantic relationship with each other, although it is debated how far this relationship went. Dimitri gave Tatiana a French bulldog which she named Ortipo. When Ortipo died, Dimitri gifted Tatiana with another puppy which died with her at Yekaterinburg. Dimitri visited the family in 1916 and he left a good impression on the Serena who thought of him as the perfect son-in-law. However, marriage between the two would never be possible as Dimitri was a commoner and Tatiana a grand duchess. Dmitry died while fighting with the White Army against the Bolsheviks in 1919. Following the Russian Revolution of 1917 and the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II, the whole family were arrested and put under house arrest. The strict house arrest and uncertainty about her family's future took its toll on Tatiana. The already slim Tatiana lost a lot of weight due to the circumstances. 
After a year of captivity, her parents and her younger sister Maria were moved to Yekaterinburg, while Tatiana, Olga, Anastasia and Alexei remained behind. As Alexei had suffered another haemophilia attack, it was too weak to travel. Tatiana was the one who took care of her brother and the household while they were separated. Shortly after the remaining Romanovs were moved to Yekaterinburg, Tatiana and her younger sisters got friendly with the guards, asking them about their families, and Tatiana was talking about her new life in England when they would be released. After Yakov Yurovsky took command over the family, they were held under even stricter conditions and were forbidden from joking with the guards. Tatiana, who still considered herself to be the leader of the royal children, was often sent to ask the guards about the rules or their future. Tatiana spent most of her time with her mother and her brother. She read to them and played games with them to pass the long hours of captivity. During the night of the 16th of July 1918, the whole family was awoken and taken to the basement. Sometime later, in the early hours of the 17th of July, 1918, Yurovsky entered the room and demanded that they stand up. He then proceeded to read their death sentences and they opened fire. Nicholas, Alexandra and two of their servants were killed immediately. Tatiana and her sister crouched together, screaming for their mother. Guards tried to stab both the sisters but failed as they had sewn jewels into their clothing. They were then approached by Jakob Yurovsky who shot Tatiana in the back of her head. Olga followed her sister soon after. The entire family was dead within minutes. The bodies of the Romanov family were not found until many decades later. This left a lot of speculation that one of the royal family might have survived. Author Michael Ackleshaw claimed Tatiana survived that night and was rescued and travelled to England where she married a British officer and lived under the name of Larissa Tudor. However, all of these claims were proven false. The bodies of the Russian imperial family were found. Tatiana and her family were canonised by the Russian Orthodox Church abroad as holy martyrs. In 2000, the family were canonised by the Russian Orthodox Church as passion bearers. Exactly 80 years after the murders, Nicholas, Alexandra and three of their daughters, most likely Olga, Tatiana and either Maria or Anastasia, were buried in St. Petersburg.